Hey everyone, I'm just trying to see if I can make a little video to help people get their their uh, switches and everything to work. Uh, I'm going to cover the basics, not, not how to change the area of sensors or any of that, just the bare basics to make them work. We'll start out first with the switches. And first we'll just place this down. Alright, there it goes. And we'll put a light in just for good measure. Uh, what did I do? There we go. And I like that one, don't ask me why. Uh, then we'll place a switch on the wall to operate. Okay, now we have to set the switch logic up. And this is the part that can be confusing. So we'll go up and we'll point at this. You don't have to have your thing open, but it tells you in the right what you're looking at, so it, it helps. Then hit P. Is what that does is it automatically selects the item, even if you've already grouped it or renamed it. Okay, now here it's the shows the devices tab. We'll go to signals tab and we'll name our signal test. And this will be test uh, let's call it test switch. Alright. And do not set the switch to itself. This you must leave blank. Alright. And that's it for the setup of the switch. That's basically it. The one same thing. We'll point at it so it automatically highlights it. We'll go to signal and we'll turn this to test switch. That's it. Our light will now work on the switch. It's off, so the light's off. And the light comes on. That's your basic setup. Just the two, three, two steps. Now to add the door, we'll aim at it. And of course it'll highlight it. I'm just showing you that in case you have 20 different devices. You can always find it, even if you've renamed it. Same thing. We'll set that to test switch and leave it on follow. Uh, this button is invert. If one happens to be backward you can invert one or the other and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll correct it. That's it. Now the switch will operate both the light and the door. Voila. So it's, it's really only a couple of uh, uh, set a couple of things. Same thing, we'll do this one with a sensor. So we'll place our door and place our light. Doesn't really matter where, since I don't have a... I guess I'll place it on the outside and make it better. Alright, now this time you got to be a little more careful because the sensors have a front and a back. If I were to just place it here on the wall like I did the switch, then the then the door and everything would close as soon as you get past the the flush side of that wall. So I'm going to place it on the ceiling in between the door and there. And then we'll go back and do and do our setup. Here's all you got to set up on it. Point at it. Here's this new motion sensor. And see, because I haven't renamed them, we have the others. So we'll name this one test sensor. Now that's it. Again, do not reset this here on the switch or sensor page. We are done. Here, I'm not going to go into adjusting this, but you can do it a couple of different ways and, and you just have to figure that out or I'll show it in another one. This is the bare essentials. Now we have to set each device to interact with that switch. And here you go. See, it told me which device it was since I was aimed at it. I know it's this device. I can go here. Now we have test switch and test sensor because I named two of them. We'll go to test sensor. And we'll do the same with the door. I just go to test sensor. Again, I aimed on it so I know I'm on the right door. Uh, that's it. That one is now set up. You go outside, you can hear it beep. Go inside, it operates. And that's pretty much it. There's really only two setups. 
Now here's now here's one we'll we'll do for uh, the sensor plates because this is one nobody really covers, and I think they're extremely useful. That's actually why I left that big hole in the floor. You can put them this way and they'll work, but it leaves a you know you got to kind of step up or sometimes even jump up. So if you leave a hole in the floor, you can place them like that. They are airtight, so you can still use them on a vase floor and have your plants grow. Then let's say we want to switch that thing using this. Now uh, you can I, I like using them for a repair bays. You can actually sit the uh, console right over top of the switch plate, and then but you have to set it like pretend this is your your uh, repair bay. You have to set it. To switch the repair bay itself, not the console, but it's great. You walk up, reach the console, and it turns on and off here. Anyway, for this one, same thing. We'll set up our trigger play, and again, we'll only name the TX thing. Test trigger play. I wasn't sure I'd get all those in there. Okay, and that's it. Do not set it to turn itself off. <laughs> then we'll point at that, and then we'll go here, on, off, test, trigger plate. Leave it on, follow. That's it. Now we have the trigger plate. As you can see, it's not powered. Tang, you got it powered. Great for saving energy. So are the sensors. And switches are, of course, useful and can be set up for any powered device as has the, the settings page, like here with open and close or on and off. And that's pretty much it. it, it it's, it's very simple. A lot of the videos make it a lot more complex than it has to be by going in how to naming, renaming your sensors and everything else. And that's a good idea. I mean, if I had, I only have one of each here, but if I had, you know, five or six motion sensors for say, it would be nice, and you can, in the devices tab, you can rename them, but only if you group them. So we'll go ahead and auto group them. See, now I can rename that motion sensor. But now we have three. Now again, how do you find that one to rename this lever if you don't know which, which lever it is? Well, like I already went over, you simply come up to it, point at it, and hit, and it's automatically uh, highlighted. And that covers pretty much everything I wanted to go over. I may add to this on how to uh, set the uh, area of the uh, sensors, but that's pretty complex, and my computer actually doesn't do one way. I, I can't use one of it because of my keyboard or something, so I can only do it in, in an odd manner. But that will that should get you going or at least make sure that everything's right before you try and set the area. You want to get it to work, then you can adjust the area. I hope that helps some folks and y'all have a good day.